just a couple months ago, I made a video telling you guys that pretty soon here I will be releasing a server for 1.13.2, a server with zombies, a classic game mode from Call of Duty that uh, I know and a lot of my viewers know and love. Now, it's been three months since then and I haven't officially released the server. And I know a lot of you may have thought that I gave it up just like a lot of my other projects and adventure maps that just end up being tossed to the side. But uh, this was not really public, but I've been working on it since, ever since. So what happened was 1.14 released. And when 1.14 released in the snapshots, they added a bunch of features. So many features, scheduling functions, uh, play dis editing player data based on the items that they have in their inventory and more and more many 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 custom models you can have nearly a billion custom models on a single item without editing the damage values just so many great features in 1.14 that I just couldn't help myself I couldn't just sit back and continue working in 1.13.2 when there was just so many features that should have been there that are now available so what I did was I deleted it all I deleted everything but the base map no code no resource pack, nothing. And I started from there. I reorganized. I spent hours and hours and hours just organizing and reorganizing and creating the codes and remaking all of the gun files, remaking everything. And it took me about four weeks over the winter break, but I was able to get a working version of the game similar to where it was before. However, this time there was way more features than before. And I would love to show you guys some of them just in a separate video just so you can see all the work I've been doing in the past three months to make this game and it hasn't just been me it's been the work of at least five other people and I've been working on this project for the past year now it's almost been an entire year and I haven't even released the server that's just how much work has gone into this and it may not seem like much but there is a lot here if you understand anything about commands the sheer quantity of things going on the, qu the sheer quantity of functions and time put into optimizing code and making it easier to add on uh, for both me and for future developers not to mention there is now up to 25 unique weapons in the game that have all separate functions and balancing in part by some other individuals that have helped me along the way this build itself was not completely built by me. It was built by, uh, I spent a lot of time building it myself, but it was also worked on by a number of you guys who watch my videos and comment and talk on the Discord. And it really has just been a really huge project that a lot of us have undergone and play tested and tested and tested over and over again. There has been probably over a hundred hours of testing with me and a lot of people on the server First off, you would notice that the lobby is a little bit different um, in terms of the HUD. So it has the similar ready up system, except now we have a boss bar to tell you when the game starts, which just looks a lot better with the notches. Uh, the uh, wool ready up system is pretty much the same. We can equip skins. This was one of the most recent additions, um, but you can use this book to equip skins that you have. Of course, I don't have any skins at the moment um, and it isn't quite set up completely because I need to hook it up to the server so you can open cases um, but this is a skin system that s some of you may have seen before in which you know you can equip skins to the guns that you have in game um, and once you equip the skins whenever you get the gun you will have two different updated model types whenever you hold the gun which have some really cool effects and you can earn these skins through doing easter eggs or just playing generally well now the next thing that we have is the light gray wool which is your settings menu the settings menu is one of the cool new features as well that has a bunch more things i need to add to it um, that will be pretty easy to add i just it's a matter of including it at this point um, but we have some stuff such as custom sound pack uh, where sounds will only play uh, certain sounds will play for you differently if you have a special map that has special sounds we also have disabled blood so there's blood in this map in terms of like little when you hit them and when you take damage you can turn it you can disable it if you want to um, which will sometimes help with um, 
clear, like being clear how good things look. Now this is the very cool editor mode that I just entered. Now editor mode is probably one of my most proud creations because it makes map making for this very easy for both me and anyone that wants to make a new map. So let's just go over really quickly the little set features of editor mode. So I have map tools, zombie spawn points, delete zombie spawn points. So anywhere around the map there's these spawn points and you just can put down a all you have to do is put down the delete, it'll get rid of it, put down the place, and it'll put a new one. Uh, there's very little coding you have to do. There's a few little things you have to do in the code, um, but they're very simple copy-paste in a very select folder um, that you can access. It's a simple folder, and it has it's very straightforward. I'm going to most likely make some tutorial videos showing it, um, but it's right here. Map is going to be the folder, and this is all the stuff you can play around with to make your map just pop and be its own and unique. Now, here we have gun by walls. Every single gun that was added. Now I'm going to get demonetized, but that's all right. So these are all the things that were added, and you can get them. There's a few more that aren't added to this editor, but I will add them as soon as possible. Uh, we have a total of 25, and these just make putting down the walls very easy. Let's say I want the spaz 12. All I do is just set it right there, and then let me get the delete real quick so I can get rid of it. Oop. There you go. All right, so here's the by wall, and when a player gets near it, it will light up the gun, and when the player walks away, it'll make it dark, and you just right-click to buy. They have set prices that you can't alter. Um, that's just something that we balance in the code. But if there's an update and your map needs to be updated, it's not a problem. All you got to do is just save that map file, and everything will still work. Now, there is also, in addition to those, there is machine tools. We got all the perk machines. You can place them wherever you want. There's mystery box initial location and random location. You can have the mystery box start at a certain place, but then teleport around the map once people buy it and uh, they get the um, condition where it changes the location. Or you can just have a bunch of random locations so that when the game starts, it starts at a random location. Um, so every time they play, it's different. You got the pack punch machine and all the perks listed here. You also have Easter egg tools. There is parts, so you can create parts and uh, and locations to build things. So locations to grab a part and locations to build things. There's power lines, so you can set anything really. A lot of things can be activated based on power. I can make it so this turret over here, which yes, there's turrets as well. I can make it so this turret over here does not work unless you activate a certain power and I can have up to 10 power lines. So I could have up to 10 locations that you have to activate so that you can have like one part power, one part of the map or another part power, another part of the map. So that's pretty cool. Now we also have extra tools. This is just a list of a bunch of extra tools. So there's repeatable buy signs. So these are signs that you can just buy and buy and buy. They're not super useful because you can mostly do that with anything. Uh, then we also have zip lines. Zip lines are great because you don't have to go into the code anywhere. Uh, and you can generate these really cool zip lines that just, you know, shoot you right down for free or you can make it cost stuff. Um, you can make a lot of different things have different costs by just using the increase or decrease cost tool. Um, then we have turrets. Turrets are awesome. They just auto target on zombies and shoot them. There's even elevators. I made an elevator system where you can create an elevator that is a square shape and you can specify how big it is uh, based on a few parameters and you can estimate, uh, estimate, make how tall it is based on a few parameters. Uh, you can also have like a bunch of elevators. You can have these elevators right next to each other. You can have the zip lines crisscrossing over each other in addition. So um, those are all good. I developed a system for unique uh, identification. Then there's also ambient sound effects. So you can add your own ambient sound effects using a custom pack and such. Um, and that's really cool. So you can have more than just the crickets. There's electric traps. And uh, yeah, there's just so many tools here. The last, and that's pretty much it. And then you can re click this button to reset all the map features um, because there's also doors and doors are pretty easy. You just put down the door location and you create the door sign and boom, it works. And now we have the doors working just like that where it charges you money based on how much you specify. And then I can reset the features just by clicking that button. All right, so I went a bit in depth on the tools. I just wanted to show you guys everything. Now I'm going to, there's still a few things I need to add for GUI sake of the editor, but now I'm going to hop into the game.
So once we hop into the game, you will notice that first off, I'm getting... First off, I'm getting approximately 40, uh, about 80 frames per second when I'm recording and playing the game, which is much better than before. It's hard to tell, but it, it has a huge performance increase. Now, second off, now you drop to reload. So when I drop, you will see the damage bar indicate how much time I have left to reload. So when I shoot it and then you watch the damage bar, it increases till it's max and then I'm reloaded. So that's a visual kind of reload helper. Um, next, if you put it in your offhand, you zoom in and you're more accurate this way. The other thing you'll notice is that there's damage indicators. When I hit a zombie, little damage of how much damage I did pops out. In addition to this, if I hit one zombie, it can collat and hit the other zombie behind it, but it doesn't do the exact same amount of damage, it does less. So there it was doing 27 and then 19. Not to mention there is a limit to the range, so my gun only has a certain range, and uh, if I try, I can't hit things that are further than that. So we have aiming down the sights, range, damage modifier based on penetration, there's just so many little extra things added in. Here's the Olympia, the Olympia is pretty great too. Now that one, you can see all the little damage indicators pop up. Then, oh, and I went down and that's game over. The other thing that I can't demonstrate entirely to you guys is there is a downed revive system. So when you go down, you will be glowing up red and players can come up and revive you by crouching next to your body. And it will tell you on the screen, crouch to revive. It has a whole indication system. It just looks really clean. This is a really great project. I've really enjoyed all the discovery I had with it. And hopefully this server will come out soon. I just have to make the lobby and add a few little adjustments. So maybe a month or something around that. Now, I know that a lot of you don't like me working on these because you don't like it so much. So I do have a set of people that prefer a something else. And coming up soon, I guess you guys can let me know how much you want to see it. I will show off this, which I'm going to go into spectator mode and I don't have the resource pack on but look at how many armor stands and uh, I can't activate I can't activate f3b mode but there is so many armor stands in this one little area and there is so many uh, there is probably 50 or 60 area effect clouds already or somewhere around there there is a, just a ton, and this one is the most complicated adventure map I've ever made. So if you guys want to see me go through everything with this, I'm almost ready to start showcasing it. It's going to be out soon. Spells demo. I have a cool kind of tutorial system that I think that I want to show you guys soon. Um, that will hopefully go over how to make spells. Like I had a previous thing, how to make custom enchantments. This will be how to make spells. Of course, it'll be a lot more complicated because, you know, it's spells. What do you, what do you expect? So, for example, we have Fireball, which does that. Um, that's a pretty cool, useful spell that, you know, is pretty common. And we'll just be going over one spell per element. So here is Light Beam. So this is how to do um, ray casting that stops at the entity with hit, hit indicators and does not go through certain blocks. So I'm not hitting him through the water, but I hit him through that. And then it does a damage indication and it hits him. So I'm going to be going over, oh man, a lot of cool things things with spells. I'm also going to be going over um, player targeting and locking uh, using my newest data pack that I would like to show you guys sometime soon called uh, O-Link and you just add it and it'll help you uh, link up some things in your world. So there's just a lot of cool little things I want to show you. Anyways guys, that was pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, this ain't my face. <laughs> I'm reminding that for me. It isn't over. Uh, what the hell? Never mind, I'll find someone like you. So I know I mean nothing but the bad.
Sometimes the earth insane. Okay, guys, that was epic. Can I get a whole fist in the chat? Let's get it. Ready? Three, two, one. Whole fist. <laughs>